Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to create a dashboard in Salesforce, All right? As you can see here, I have a tab here that is called dashboard. If you don't know how to put dashboard in here, as you can see, we have an edit button. You just go ahead and click on it. All right, as you can see, we have home and dashboard. I got home and dashboard right here. Now, if you want to add dashboard, just click on add more items. Now click on all. Go ahead and scroll down until you find dashboard. All right, and click on the plus sign once done. Click on add nav items. All right. So for example, I'm going to add uh, contacts right here. Click on it, add nav item, and just hit on save, and contacts will be added right here. All right. So going back to the topic, I'm going to click on dashboard right here. And as you can see, I, I have one. So to create one, go to the top right and click on new dashboard. All right. Click on it and wait for it to load. Now, once it loads, you're going to want to name your dashboard, for example another dashboard sample right here in the description this is just another sample all right once done if you want to you can go ahead and make it private or if you want to make it visible to all of your colleagues or to all of the users all right go ahead and select folder and select shared with me or private dashboards or anything that you want right here but just for this example i'm just going to add in private dashboard and i'm going to go ahead and click on create all right once done, just wait for it, and here's your dashboard. Now, what we're going to do here is just click on Edit or the plus widget. All right, go ahead and add a chart or table. Now, you're going to want to select the chart or table to the dashboard. For example, here, created by me, if I wanted to um, put all opportunities onto my dashboard, I'm just going to click on it and hit on Select, and you'll be able to see all of these charts. All right, if you have data, under all opportunities, you'll be able to see that in here and the graph will be shown as well. Just go ahead and select your preferred graph. All right, then go ahead and scroll down. If you want to, you can go ahead and tick the cumulative tick box right here and scroll down. Access range right here, custom if you want to. All right, and then sort by subtitle, footer, and the widget theme. If you want it dark, go ahead and do so. And once done, just hit on add. And here you have your dashboard. Don't forget to hit on save, then done. All right. Now when you go to your home right here. All right. When you log in, you'll be able to find your dashboard or the dashboard tab. Just click on it and you'll be able to find all of your created dashboards right here. So I'm going to click on another dashboard sample as we have created this earlier. And here we have our dashboard. If you want to maximize this one, just go ahead and click on this icon. And you're good to go. And if you want to download this particular dashboard, just click on download chart right here. And save on our desktop. And you're good to go. Well, I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one.